I'm fixing it. I'm filming it. Well, you must know what that means. Time to overseed. So, I've got my grass ready. I've got my cedar. A lot of my viewers will recognize that. That's my homemade uh, peat moss spreader that I made. And I got about 10 bags of uh, peat moss. So, that's my task for the day. Uh, built this a couple weeks ago and I can't wait till I test it out so um, what you have to do before you overseed you obviously want to wait till it's uh, above 10 degrees Celsius all the time even at night if you can this is early uh, spring it is uh, May the 22nd 2021 so again before you do any overseeding you have to do two things first you got to cut your lawn not short but kind of short you know maybe two inches and then you got to dethatch it best to get rid of all that old grass and thatch whatever that way you have better um, contact with your seed some of this in there and let's cross her fingers hope it works. Well I was afraid that opening was going to be too big but when you get a big bundle like this it makes it easy. It's not like though. brakes on it. Well, just about a whole bag. And this is a 3.8 cubic feet. So it took a good part. So, let's see how well it rolls out. tested it works awesome yeah it's just well it was really nice having 
this big door. Easy to put the peat moss in, especially when you got these big bags that I've got. And uh, there, this is all the stuff that doesn't go on your lawn. Stuff that's really no good. Bark and I don't know what. But, you know, how would you like to put that on your lawn? So boy, this thing worked awesome. I'm going to enjoy it over the years. So, looks like I'll just kind of throw this in the garden there a little bit. Not on the lawn. And, uh, well, well worth the effort to make something that you need sometimes. If you can't buy it, make it and you, usually it's better than what you can buy. Yeah, so the next part now is to uh, keep it wet for two weeks, they say, minimum, every day, make sure it's wet.